Friendship Supreme Friendship Supreme Finding the Geek Within Welcome back everybody, my name is Cleve And I'm Michael And this is Friendship, Friendship Supreme. Supreme And we're the podcast that dares to ask Why aren't we on Funko's payroll yet? I've been coming out with Funko ideas before Funko had them. Funko, we really are your main uh, think tank. Yeah. I actually posted a couple pictures that I thought of Pops before they came out, and it's on our page. It's uh, Friendship Supreme on Instagram. Yeah, we do it often. Check it out. So we're here today, and uh, we are being... This episode's been brought to you by Cleve's Wallet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a bunch of boxes of things that Cleve does not know what he bought, but they're Funko Pops. Yep. And because we are the uh, second most popular podcast in all of Texas when it comes to Funko Pops. We're coming for you, Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith is not the number one Funko Pop. Uh, anyway. Will um, Smith has everything. Yeah. I'm willing to admit okay. that we're second. We're not first because we 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 just started like this year, so we've got time to grow. We're coming for you, baby. Real quick, uh, before we get into anything, Will Smith posted a video of him doing the Apache dance, mm-hmm. and Willow was like nine, and she stood up and she started doing it with him. I appreciate that he taught her that dance. Oh, absolutely. And then she was like, "So you made this dance up?" And he's like, "Yeah, I did." And he was like, "We're so proud of it. It was great." Anyway, uh, back to the show. So, as being the uh, second most popular Funko uh, Pop. Not centric, cause, but we talk about them. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've decided we're going to go ahead and review some of the weird things that Cleese bought recently. So, two of them are physical mystery boxes. Mm-hmm. Um, well, three. Oh. One of them I bought so long ago, waiting for uh, opening it on the show, that I forgot what's in it. So, Like, he doesn't know what the mystery is supposed to be. So, it's a mystery on top of a mystery. Make sure not to put my address on <laughs> you mean you don't want them to know you live at 321 Easy Street? That's where you can find me. This is the. Do we, do we have workers come here? Hey man, don't cut the box. Like, cut the box, but don't cut the box, you know what I'm saying? This one uh, fear I always have when opening Funko boxes is that the box is in there and it's delicate. By the way, uh, this point is when you start going. The bidding hell? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Cleve doesn't know what's in here at all, right? You don't even know what the mystery is supposed to be. Like we don't know who. You no, that's not even the mystery one. Like I, oh. I bought that one on eBay and just can't remember what I bought. From it. somebody named Stormy. That's not gonna help me. I'm sorry, man. Stormy. Damn. Stormy. I would, I would send it back. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you got this on eBay? I think we're putting the address dead ass in there. <laughs> <laughs> See, it, and this isn't even on the screen. <laughs> I can blur it. <laughs> yeah, put it right in front All of Alright, so <laughs> if you had to guess what it was, do you th- can you think of something you needed recently? I can, um, I, I'll tell you why you bought this. It's for an episode. I want to say it's uh, old Jesse Jones. It, it is absolutely Jesse Jones. Uh, so we have Jessica Jones, and I'm going to show you before I show Cleve, uh, from the As Seen on Netflix show. Jessica Jones. It's not a new one. It's just one. I have a lot of the other Netflix ones, and I just wanted her to exist on my team. Funko does this thing where they make these plastic cases to specifically fit your character so that this doesn't happen. But I'll, I'll go ahead and show you. There's nothing worse than getting a pop that is just not even in its case properly. Yeah. Especially when I bought this off someone. Yeah, you bought this from someone. Um, so there's damage on and the I, bottom. I can guarantee you, I can go to my eBay account and guarantee you that it wasn't like that in the... Because it should have my history, right? Yeah. Let's pull that up. Um, so you can definitely tell they've opened it, which I don't care about. Cleve doesn't care about, but a lot of pop collectors do. Um, this box is beat up. I mean, the bottom is all kind of gross. Yeah. I, you can't... Again, this is all like from the... It, depending on how it was listed, I, I'm assuming it was probably listed as pristine, knowing them. Um, in fact, I just sold one uh, recently. I just sold a Stonekeeper on uh, eBay. So, so she doesn't look straight, but she's definitely way more jacked up 
I don't know how focused that will be. Yeah. And I hit the mic. Um, as well angled as the photo makes is it there paint? Is there paint all scuffed up on the scarf, too? Mm. You can't really tell. No, me. not really. You can see the paint scuffed up on the scarf. It's not supposed to be. Yeah. Um, so I just sold Stonekeeper online recently. And, like, I listed it as mint. And the reason is it literally came... It's still in the box that it came from Funko. I haven't taken it out. I haven't touched it. Uh, but, yeah, this is very much someone... It was sitting on someone's desk for a long time, and then they sold it to Cleve. Yeah. And I don't I mind uh, if it angles back, but you can... Her head's tilted, which I guess gives her attitude. How much did you pay for it, if you don't mind me asking? Um, is it in there? So the, oh, well, you know what? I uh, thought you had the thing. My thing will tell me. Um... 11 bucks. Same as prices that you would have bought it at the store. Yep. Uh, and on the app, she's going for like 10 bucks. So, I mean, I don't enjoy that part of it, but yeah, it is what it is. Yep. Gonna leave her here? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, I'll leave her there. Um, the next box, we're a bit behind on showing, but it is. Oh, on both sides, the Marvel uh, Collection Corp Far From Home box. Uh, Stephanie's not seen this movie, so it would make no sense to her. But Michael just saw it recently, so he'll understand it. I did surprisingly see it recently. And there were still a lot of people in the movie theater. It was a good movie. Stephanie doesn't like Cleve, so anything that Cleve likes, she won't watch. So it comes <laughs> with a, a little backpack from his school. Okay. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. I mean, I know what school is. That's in the first one. Uh, a cool new little Spider-Man logo decal. That's the new decal that's on his chest. A little hacky sack. <laughs> I'm get the back hacky sack of days. Uh, in two pops. One of them, Michael has seen, so we'll show this one first. It is Mysterio. And he and lights he up. up. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I feel like this is the first time they've ever put this in a Funko Pop, by the way. The light up? The light up. There's an Iron Man one that lights up. Oh. But this is the first one that is... There's... So careful. So fresh. So nice. Cape's done well. Yeah, it looks really cool. Oh, there's a little note. What's this in here? Well, you? Is it instructions on how he works? I believe it is. Yep, where to put the batteries. Mm. Okay. Thoughts? Um, so I don't know if it's on purpose, but his armor is weird. See on the side? Oh, yeah. But then not on this side? Like, not fully sealed? Yeah. I'm sure it's hard to fit a whole battery in there or whatever. However, that's not what it is. I don't think the battery shoved up in this butthole. I mean, the cords and stuff. Ah, yeah, that might make sense. Uh, thoughts? I, it's a really cool pop. The head is so weird to me. I don't know. I get it because that's what he looked like. Like a cotton ball. But yeah, it just looks like a cotton ball in there. I don't know. Your thoughts? I think he's cool. I wish, you know, they gave me a second one, and I appreciate that. Um,. It, I, there's so many of him like that. Here's my issue with it. Okay, so feel the Funko, right? Uh, yes. He feels like a Funko Pop. It feels mm -hmm. good, right? Mm -hmm. Feel the base. It feels like a McDonald's toy. Yeah. Like little, we could have invested cheap, a little bit more in the material that we made the bottom out of. Um, but it definitely goes along with the movie. Uh, definitely a cool character. Won't talk much about it because. He's on one. He's uh, on the Funko app for thirty bucks. There you go, and that's mm. the box. So cool. The second one I feel is highly disappointing for this movie. I'm ready for it. Well, okay. It's him in a jersey from the Netherlands, because that's a scene that happened. Um, he ends up getting stuck. He d he needs to not look like Spider Man, so he wears that shirt. That's it. That's, That's it? 
And it's not even him doing the cool part of him being in that shirt when he's um, getting ready to fight. Oh, yeah. He's just in the shirt hanging out. So, we're just grabbing now. Yeah. It's kind of not. Sweat. You can take well, I guess how many Spider-Man pops well, can you make? I mean, he could have been in a cool pose. He could have been like swooping down like the trailer. Like even just talking about the trailer. Like it could have been his best friend, Ned. Because I love Ned. I could have bought a Ned pop. That's true. There you go. I don't know if you'll really stand, but that's good. Um, the next one for September, which is my birthday month, is the 80 years. That could be great or terrible. They've done really bad job so far on anniversary ones. Because, well, I mean, there's only one other one, but yeah. Yeah. Well, let's be honest. Most of the Marvel ones have had like a a roll, like fifty fifty chance. Like this one, even like the Mysterio is cool, but you're right. There's already a bunch I have of Mysterios. A, I have a glow in the dark one. That's a Walmart one. Yeah. That I got for. And then that, um, and then you had Infinite War or Endgame, which was Cap, which was cool, mm-hmm. and then. Valkyrie. Yeah. I, I mean, is this going to be the thing? trend is where I get one where I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And then one where I'm like, okay, thanks. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. what's the box? That's cool. Next one. These are the, the straight up, I had a chance to win something cool or something terrible. We'll Do you remember what you had a chance to win? This one's from Chalice Collectibles. Um, let me look. Because I want to know if you're going to be excited or not. Because I'm excited. I want to say I took a screenshot of it. I can't remember. It was so long ago when that was. So I was just watching right now. Mm-hmm. Watching uh, Cleve Johnson. <laughs> I mean, I mean you can just cut that part out. It's in to... one spot. So this one was, these were ten ninety nine each. Uh, the top prizes were a DC Batman Green Chrome, uh, Emerald City Comic Con exclusive, DBC Weiss Metallic, San Diego Comic Con, uh, Thor from Infinity War, and it was an Asia exclusive, uh, Game of Thrones Children of the Forest Metallic, HBO exclusive, or Disney Elastigirl, which is vaulted and which means it can no longer be purchased. Those were the big ticket ones. Yeah, you're not guaranteed any of those, but that's what you were hoping for. Um, so one thing I will say is it's really well packed, and so I appreciate Chalice Collectibles for doing that because I can't tell you how disappointing it is getting ones that are not well packed, and you can kind of see even from the top that it's well wrapped. Um, Oh, and they even put it in the protector. Uh, so, we'll show them. This is what Cleve got. He's looking, so. Well, I think I'll lie. I don't think I pre ordered that one. I don't think this is Mr. Brooks. Oh. But whatever. It's cool. I like it. He looks too hard to take out. I mean, he's really well. They really package this well. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, it's beautifully packaged. It is in a nice pop protector. It is... Listen to that. It's not cheap. Yeah, that's a, it's a wall, a fortress of solitude of sorts. Um, it is an exclusive, actually, from them, so that's exciting. You know how pop collectors love stickers. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to take them out. It looks too, like, too much. All right. Google it. Next one. <laughs> Thanks, This one is from Chrono Toys. I think that's that's the mystery one. Do you want to tell? They're all mysteries in my them? life. Do you want to tell everybody you lied to them? Uh, so I thought this was the mystery one. Apparently, I pre-ordered this one. I just forgot because um, my team abandoned me for a month, so I had spare time. We post an episode every every 
week, man. What are you talking about? We do. We haven't missed a single week. I don't we know haven't missed what a single you're week. talking about. We've been here every week. All right, so this could have been a lot of things, Cleve. Mm-hmm. Oh, I do remember you telling me about this one, actually. Because you happen to get the one that I think you said you didn't want. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, <laughs> that so. feels like me. That feels like my life. So, again, package well. Not the same bubble wrap, but good enough bubble wrap. And no pop protector box, but seems to be good enough. Uh, so, you got Todoroki from My Hero Academia. Uh, the reason I said Cleve did not really want this one is because Cleve's never seen My Hero Academia, nor have I. I've never even heard of My Hero Academia. Do you watch any kind of anime at all, Stephanie? Mm. This would be why that. <laughs> not anymore. It is a. What did you used to watch? I used to watch like the Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon. And I like it was the Dragon Ball Z, you old lady. <laughs> did I say the Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. So, Todoroki, I believe, is a villain because I think all the villains are exclusives. Like you can't get a villain unless it's considered an exclusive. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm actually in pretty good condition. Which is good, considering it came from a company. By the way, this one was $18. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is that the top is scuffed. But then there was a some kind of adhesive on it. Otherwise, decent box. Uh, $21. <clears throat> <clears throat> nice. And then this guy Total here. Rookie. Yeah, because I'll... What's it at? T-O-D-O-R-O-K-I. Close in the dark. Twenty-seven dollars. Nice. Which is well, I presumably you spent probably fifteen to twenty dollars on it. Yeah. Um. So because Cleve and I both don't collect that, I'll bet that becomes a trading one. But. Yep. He's not terrible. Just nothing that I know. But still cool. Still here. Still exists. I won't take them out for the simple fact that I will probably try to get rid of them. Yep. Um. He glows in the dark. Yeah. But that's what Cleve spent his money on. Do you have any other ones? Uh, nope, that was it. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this is about a month's worth of Cleve randomly buying things. This is why we don't let Cleve sure. have the company credit card. A month. <laughs> it's like, I did this in a day. Yeah, I don't doubt it for a second that he did it different than a day. I mean... You know things. Here's my question to you. So, as someone that has been a subscriber to the Marvel box mm-hmm. from the get go, mm-hmm. do you feel it's worth it, or do you, do you are you so is it like a FOMO situation? Like you're so worried about missing out on something, you you continue to subscribe to it. That's for sure what it is because you, for example, you collect the Captain America. You want the one where you hold in Mjolnir. Yeah. It's gonna be a pulling teeth for you to get. But um, I I want to say there's been more hits than misses, but there's been some heavy misses, and I think my perfect example that uh, I tell people all the time is the the villains one. The nemesis, you mean, or the villains? The Vill- nemesis, I feel like, was the real miss. Was that was Bullseye and Daredevil? No, nah, man, Morpheus. Or Morpheus right. was the worst one. No, he's getting his own movie, man. Jared Leto. That's my point. Um, and then second question, I guess, because you buy more than I do, because I've sworn off of them. I, I, I don't buy mystery boxes anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, do you feel your mystery boxes were worth it? Um, presumably, you spent probably like I said, fifteen to twenty bucks on it. After shipping I think it was like ten nine, yeah, like ten ninety nine. So fifteen bucks after mm-hmm. shipping. Uh, do you feel that it's worth it? Because you're gonna have to trade it most likely. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you you kind of know what you could get. You kind of don't know what you could get because there's like it always says like oh one of these six or others. They entice you because I bought two other ones, and I bought two because it said you could get the Red Skull. And I really want the Red Skull. Right. But and so one person out of everybody that buys them is going to get a Red Skull. Mm-hmm. So does it seem worth it to you? Is the gamble there? Or is it worth it the gamble to you? I don't know if it's necessarily worth the gamble, but it's fun to gamble. 
You know what I mean? That's, just uh, that's why, why I used to buy Funko Bot, and that's why I had to stop. Yeah. Because I was buying those at the conventions and stuff and wasting probably Yeah, the conventions ones are typically terrible. Yeah. But that one I got my money out of. True. If I wanted it. So Chrono Toys definitely has a decent program then. I mm. mean, because you're right, at the conventions, I don't know if you guys have ever been to a convention or if you've ever been suckered into buying one of these boxes, but if you ever walk around and you see those boxes with the question mark cube, like now they make them all kinds of things. It used to yeah. be the Mario block, but now it's Mario block, companion cube, uh, just about everything you can think of, but it's this giant like company. Uh, it's a ripoff 100% of the time. There's never been a time where I've bought something from that place and gotten anywhere near my money's worth or mm-hmm. anywhere near, near what I thought I was going to get. Or out. there's a time that Michael and I and Jennifer and Katie all bought a mystery one and we all got the same pop. Exact same thing. And it was like the same things. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just the pop that was the same because they gave us all Angry Groot, which was annoying, but I get it. It's technically an exclusive, so that's why they can say that. Mm-hmm. But we all got every single item was identical. So, I, I mean, and like I said, I'm, I understand the risk. I understand what I'm getting into when I get a box. But there has to be some kind of, some like, you have to get some kind of value out of yeah. it. And if you're not, then what's the point? I think what helps is that I sometimes you don't know you want one until you get one. And you're yeah. like, oh, man, this is really cool. Like, yeah. you know, if you, if you bought a mystery one and you got this one, it's I'd not one that you are collecting right. them of, but it's a cool one to have. Yeah, no, I think it's cool. Yeah, I, I would tell you that, so here is our positive uh, advertisement for this particular company, and that's why they do a lot of these things, mm-hmm. knowing that someone's going to open this and talk about it. But Chrono Toys, and they, job. they sell out in probably a, an hour or less yeah. every time. So definitely uh, check them out if you're into mystery boxes. Um, if you like, we've been opening the Marvel Collector Core boxes, so you kind of have an idea of what you see there. If you like them, uh, definitely buy those. Yeah. But, uh, let us know if there's any mystery boxes you guys are buying uh, that you tend to get a good deal out of or that you hate. Let us know your worst story about a mystery box. Send us some and maybe we'll get into it. Cause I, I, I try to talk Michael into it every once in a while. I got a... Uh, in one of my mystery boxes, I bought, I got a stuffed version of Star Child from Kiss. Mm-hmm. It instantly became a dog toy. Like, I was so pissed about it. I oh, think I spent sure. 60 bucks on the box. And they were like, every box has $70 worth of stuff. And it was that, a um, random pop that was like a real common whatever. And. Like a lanyard. You know what's interesting? Is I've heard of one, and he will customize the box for you. Like, you tell him the things you collect and the things you like, and he'll give you this much value of it, but you have to you have to drop the money for him to do I it see. for you. You know? I mean, there's all kinds of people that are doing them online on eBay. Like, eBay has them, and I've seen so many YouTube videos and stuff of people getting ripped off. Yeah, I don't trust those I, at all. I, I, yeah. I can't even sold one. Katie, because we, cause we do the pallet stuff, Katie has sold one. And, I mean, I would tell you that the stuff in it is worth a certain amount. I, it, it just is, is it, do you want that stuff? That's the problem. And mm-hmm. how do I describe to you what's inside the yeah, box? I don't want this. Right. But you still get the value out of it. Right. So, if you're willing to do the footwork and trade it out or whatever, you could then get something that's worth more than what you spent. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's our take on it for today. Let us know if there's any bad stories you guys have or good stories. Uh, you can always let us know on all of our social medias. We have Twitter, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon. They're all Friendship Supreme except for Twitter. That is uh, Friendship Supreme with no eyes because all eyes should be on these guys. You just got to give us a Google. Yep, just Google us. Give us a Google. Uh, you'll find us. Um, oh, if you guys ever get a chance... Uh, and want to join our Patreon, please do so. We're about to start dropping a lot of exclusive content on there. We've been working on stuff we can put specifically up there. Uh, Stephanie's running that for us, so if you don't like it, yell at her. Thanks. <laughs> um, but any any little bit count uh, helps uh, because, like I said, all of this stuff is coming out of our pocket. And, and someday, I keep saying it, and luckily they don't watch our podcast apparently, but someday our significant others will find out that we're spending money on this stuff. And will probably murder us. Probably, yes. 
Um, so, if you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and share us because everybody needs to hear the word of Cleve and Michael. I've been Michael. This is Cleve, and I think Nick Fury just hijacked our vacation. <laughs>